What's up? I was going to say Pisces. Scorpio, hi. This is your reading for the week. Um, I do these readings every week, Wednesdays, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is for all the water signs. That's what you are. Uh, if you want a personal reading, uh, you can click the link in the description below. If you want to donate, make a one-time donation, buy me a coffee is what it's called. There will be a card that will come up at around the three-minute mark. Or it's linked in the description below. Join my email list. We have a lot of fun there. Become a patron. Um, I do weekly, not readings, weekly vlogs on my Patreon. I upload um, exclusive content there. So that's cool. Thank you to everybody who has purchased readings um, and made donations. You guys are fucking awesome. Appreciate y'all very much. Okay, let me shut the fuck up. Whoop. All right, these two. I knew the lovers was gonna fucking come out. I knew it. Um, okay. Sheesh. Not some of y'all being wifed up. The Hierophant is a it's about commitment, but it's also about traditions too. Um, you got the lovers, which is a deep connection. It could be. It could be a deep connection. It doesn't have to be. That could just be about choices, making right choices for yourself, right? Um, what was the lovers? Gemini? I don't know why it feels like communication. The Ace of Wands comes out in reverse. When I think of the Ace of Wands, I think in reverse, I think of um, some sort of rejection or like inner spark. When it's next to the lovers, oh, and then the hanged man, which is like some sort of thing that you're needing to, like the hanged man is getting a new perspective, right? So I don't know if you're fighting feelings for somebody or something like that, or um, I, I gotta pull more cards to figure out what this Ace of Wands is in reverse. It just feels very like love-centered. I don't wanna make, this about love but it just feels that way it feels like you're fighting you're fighting feelings for somebody or just in general I'm gonna burp i'm gonna i'm absolutely gonna burp eight of pentacles all right, so how quickly things can change the more you start pulling cards. Damn, 10 of cups in reverse and the 10 of swords in reverse. Okay, so shit, the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. There's something you're going through that you that that's taking, it's requiring you to really put your fucking like work into yourself is what I'm feeling, right? Um. You could have gone through like some sort of breakup or, or be going through some sort of breakup with this or like, it doesn't have to be like romantic love. It could be, you're just not feeling um, the love from like people in your, in your family or like your close unit, you know what I mean? Like you're just feeling, I'm, I'm getting this vibe of like you feeling like you don't matter in some sort of relationship that means a lot to you. So, there's a lot of like work to be done in either regards to this connection or your connections. Um, but I mean, the, the, the whole main premise of this reading is about surrender and releasing, right? Like the only way for you to recover is for you to surrender. Um, the hanged man is all about like seeing things. It could be seeing things from a different perspective, a different angle. Like she's fucking hanging upside down. Like, Hi, she's upside down. Um, I 
whatever this is, it requires like some sort of self mastery with the eight of pentacles. Normally that to me, like indicates work, putting in work, but it feels very self de de developmental. It's not like you working your ass off to get promoted. It's like you really needing to do the inner work. Maybe to create some sort of harmony in, in a situation like with your fa and your family in a relationship. It's, it's somebody who possibly like did or does make you extremely happy with the 10 of cups in reverse. It's saying like might not be happy right now this very moment present moment in time so either you need to release this or the pain from this which is possible with this ten of swords in reverse I really don't, it's not either. It's, I think that's what you have to do. Two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's some sort of imbalance in a situation. King of cups. That's like deep emotion. Oof, seven of swords. The Seven of Swords right now, death in reverse. And that's your card, Scorpio. My ear just popped. Great. Um, it's like if you want to save some sort of relationship or situation with somebody, you have to really put in the work to yourself. The Seven of Swords is like, Normally, this, this card is looked at as like the sneaky thief card or whatever, you know, but um, right now, and normally I get that, like trust issues, you could be having trust issues that you're needing to let go of. It's very, it's very um, possible, but with this card here, it's, it could also just be like you really needing to, to, to fight for the things that are worth fighting for. That's what it feels like. Um, and part of that fight is part of, part of that fighting for the things that are worth fighting for is no longer fighting yourself in some sort of area. When, maybe when it comes to your vulnerability or your emotions or, or what, it's like allowing yourself to actually feel the shit. Um, it feels like you have a lot on your plate right now with the two of pentacles in reverse. Like you could be feeling overwhelmed and maybe, maybe that's what this has to do with. Maybe it has nothing to do with anybody else. It's just you really needing to find the balance in your own life, right? The, the 10 of cups in reverse is 10 of cups doesn't have to doesn't always have to do with everybody else. It's like finding that spark within yourself um, and maybe just trying to let go of control, like not like understanding that you don't always need to be in control of things, that you can just breathe it the fuck out and that everything will work out as it should be working out, right? The lovers as, as the first card out is, is a good card about, again, harmony, balance, Cho making the right choices for yourself. Um, why am I getting itchy? What the fuck? You could be fearing some sort of, sort of change, you know, like the, with the death in reverse, that's like resisting some sort of change. Maybe that's what the hangman is all about. It's just surrendering to it. Queen of Cups in reverse. <laughs> ah. The Four of Swords in reverse. Sheesh. And the Queen of Swords. For the love of Pete. And the Fool. Wiping that slate clean. Um...
why do I feel like you're like, there's no time for emotions. There's no time. There's no time. <laughs> oh, God. But y'all are burnt out or about to with the four of swords in reverse. Y'all need a break. Y'all need to really, maybe that's what the hanged man is, is kind of just like whew, letting things be what they're going to be so that you can catch a fucking break in whatever this is. Because I feel like your mind is just going with the four of swords in reverse. That's your mind completely going. Some of y'all are like dissociating. <laughs> that's what it feels like. If it's not that, it's just like, there's no, there's, you're trying to find the balance, the sweet spot. Because the queen of swords is very, um, I mean, you could be dealing with somebody, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. But the queen of swords is that like, she's cutthroat, but, in the best ways possible like she has to be you know what I mean she has to dot the i's and cross the t's and like draw the boundaries with people she don't give she really don't give a fuck like who she offends either that's like I don't know if you're needing to be in that energy or like the queen of cups in reverse tells me yeah maybe, I don't know honestly Or maybe you're needing to get your thoughts straight. You're needing to like clear your mind. The hanged man can literally just be like, you need to fucking meditate and get rid of some icky energy. There's a new start coming though. And we love that. We absolutely love that. I'll pull three more cards. Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is all heady. Does that make fucking Ace of Cups in reverse? Three of Wands in reverse. Jesus Christ. And the sun in reverse. Are y'all okay? <laughs> what was the next card out? Jesus Christ. You guys are doing a lot. You guys might be having a lot of doubts in your head. King of Swords, uh, the Knight of Swords in reverse. That's like very impulsive energy. Like, I don't know if you guys are questioning, like, did I like jump into this too soon? Or maybe you're feeling like you want to jump into something but you're really needing to get in touch with um, your rational brain that is telling you like, mm, maybe you should think this through first. The Ace of Cups in reverse is like, I don't know, I'm just feeling more emotional withdrawal for some reason. You guys need a, you guys need to take a nap or five. With the four of swords in reverse. Yeah. You need a nap. The three of wands in reverse. That's about delays and like. Obstacles. Not you being in your own fucking way, though. Could be a person. Could be. I mean, it could be. This queen of swords could be an obstacle. Your trust issues could be a fucking obstacle. Let's say if it has to do with love, it's like, okay, maybe your trust issues are an obstacle or just you not trusting the process of whatever this is. I think I'm done with y'all. The sun is in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Again, that's like delayed growth or something like that. Listen, I didn't say these readings were always good. 
So there's a, one person out there that needs to hear this called soul gift and training. It's time to step up. Okay. I don't know. Earth school, life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Maybe some of y'all are going through some sort of like awakening. <laughs> this this is it right here <laughs> weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry yeah that's literally right here boundaries let it go <laughs> queen of swords is all about boundaries for me and the hanged man is all about letting shit go releasing things so um if you take nothing else from this fucking reading, just listen to this card right here. That's what I got for y'all. Uh, let me know if that makes any fucking sense. I love y'all very much and I'll catch y'all next week.